Thanks. Uh, so Jason, we'd like to come to you now to talk to us about your sure. experience with, um, with Echo Leaf and, and digital tape in general. Um, why did you look for a tape storage solution in your context? All right. So um, first, I just wanted to just to add on to something that Peter said, and obviously this is really his wheelhouse, but from a, a school district point of view, um, and speaking to all these other districts about ransomware and when you get infected with ransomware, we have a local district here that took three weeks just to restore data from the cloud because of the speed that you're limited okay. to when you're pulling it back from the cloud. So the idea of having it upstairs in my closet <laughs> and the fact that I can rewrite it immediately and it's as fast as my network connection is that was a huge piece for us. So uh, just to reiterate something that Pete was saying about why not the cloud, we have the cloud, I have Barracuda, I have all these things in the cloud all over the place. But if I need to restore something quickly um, and know that I have a copy of it 10 steps away, that was really important to us. Um, and really we got into this because of ransomware. Um, I had known about the product a few years prior to actually needing it. Um, with the schools and limited funds and 2% budget caps, there's never extra money um, to just build when you feel like building. So getting into this was, like I said before, I'm glad we did it when we did. Um, and we really, the, the whole point was because we were scared of ransomware. Knowing that I can back up every day the essential files and then go back to any one of those days to restore rather than just a weekly or a monthly and having to go back two months to find a clean file and then losing two months of data. With this, we're backing up all of the essential stuff every single day and we have a 500 terabyte unit, um, which we're pretty sure will give us an entire year before we have to overwrite anything. So the important thing for us really was to protect ourselves from ransomware I can't be down for three weeks while we're restoring data. I can't lose three weeks of food service, transportation, busing, all of the, those kind of things that other districts really suffered with when they were hit with ransomware. Um, they lost their lunch balances. So they had no idea how much money kids had on their lunch accounts. Mm. They, had the, they, were, they lost a month of clean data and now they're back looking at balances from a month ago. That doesn't help. So we back up every day the things that we think are the most essential and as much as we can within the window of time before the next day begins. So that's really was, was our point in getting into this. And for the cost of it all, it was um, a really reasonable, um, a really reasonable number for a school district to budget for. Um, and knowing that once you purchase it, I have 500 terabytes of storage sitting upstairs for me, however I want to write to it. That's great. So yeah. what is it, what has it been like, you, you know, you, you made the investment decision, you got the, the hardware and the software installed. What has your experience been as an Echo Leaf customer? Um, you know what? And, and Fred could tell you, he talks to one of my techs all the time. Um, uh, my, my network engineer here, uh, really bought into this right from the beginning, and he was very interested in the system. He had never seen anything like it before. Um, the minute we shoot an email out to Fred, we get a response. Um, the troubleshooting really, uh, the only issues that we really ran into is that we use a, a company called Backup Exec, which is not ideal, and we know that. Um, but we've been using Backup Exec forever, and my guys are really comfortable with it. We're a small school district. It does everything we need it to do. Um, at one point, we went over to Veeam, which I understand would make this whole process even easier. Um, but we did go back to Backup Exec. You know, Veeam also cost us 10 times the amount of money that Backup Exec does. So it's always about the money. And um, because of that, excuse me one second. There we go. Um, because of that... It, all around, it's been it's been a home run for us. Great. What would you say to another school district considering making an investment in 
Ape. You know what? I, I, to be honest with you, I think I've, I've tried to explain to other districts and, and normally I have a, a month, a monthly <laughs> meeting with all of the tech directors on in Nassau County, but because of COVID, we don't have them currently. And I've explained this before and I explained what I was getting into and why I was doing it. And districts are really looking for a solution like this. Um, I just think the COVID thing took over and I lost two people in my tech department. We lost 12 teachers. There's, it's, the timing is not great. And it's almost like people are forgetting about the ransomware thing because they're worried about COVID and they're worried about the school staying open and the expense of staying open. But I do explain to all the other tech directors, this is what I'm doing. This is why I'm doing it. I'm telling you, this is a great thing. Um, but I think just because of the state of what's going on in schools, it hasn't really set in for them yet, the importance of this. Got it. Yeah, it is. There, there, are, there are a lot of threats out there in the in the 2020 oh, yeah. environment. It's it's mm -hmm. it's hard to it's hard to know what what uh, what animal to wrestle to wrestle next. Right. Exactly. Well, exactly. <laughs> I want to I want to thank all of you uh, for 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 all of your insight. Um, I do want to move now to back to Fred to take us inside the system.